Okay, I'm going to try to um, stick to uh, uh, just the string uh, methods that we were that I was talking about in the last video, and uh, then I'll end this video. So this video shouldn't be that long. Um, so here, public string get string. All right. So basically, we have it doing exactly that. It's um, taking everything out of the character array from uh, left to right and sticking it and concatenating it over and over in this uh, string in this string called string character array and you'll notice we have uh, of course a red x eclipse is unhappy and that's because what we're supposed to be returning we're supposed to be returning a string and we're not returning a string there's no return statement so we need to make sure we do that now so we are returning after it's done with this loop um, string character array will have uh, what digit character array has so return that so now if we want uh, let me get out of the zooming mode if we go to our main class and we want to print out what's current what's the current number um, let's see um, current number uh, number is all right and uh, let's go ahead and concatenate that why is that saying boolean b what the heck blue box all right so we're going to concatenate it with uh, we have our huge integer object and I'm going to make this a I don't I don't feel like having huge integer object anymore just have it a and I'm going to say a dot get string which is what we defined in our implementer class so now let's go ahead and run it and um, let's see and here it is of course it's printing out all the zeros we can change that by a simple modification but um, as you can see the current number is there's one two three so everything's working fine now one thing about the get string method do we really want to do that um, have uh, the user who's whoever's using our method to say uh, a get string method all the time uh, imagine this for example if I have um, let, let me uh, comment that out if I have an integer b and I set that to 2 right and I want to go ahead and print that out. Print line um, b is all right. Imagine if I had to put b dot get string each and every time. You'd find it annoying, wouldn't you? You just want it. Come on, it's b. Let's print it out. All right. Well, integer kind of like uh, the data type that we made of huge integer a. Um, I mean it has what's called it has kind of um, an implicit conversion to a string here I mean you don't have to put b dot get string or, or, or whatever uh, it would be um, I, I hope you're keeping up with what I'm saying imagine uh, when I say implicit conversion if I have int uh, oh, if I have int a and I put a 2 in it and I have a, a double there we go a double Q and uh, that, that's it's not equal to anything just uh, let me uh, do the semicolon thing right and I just put a simple uh, statement here Q uh, I'm sticking a into Q right what happens there's an implicit conversion uh, the compiler knows that this is 2 um, and it's an integer but we can easily turn it into a double which is just going to be 2.0 so you don't need to call some type of um, parsing method that will turn uh, this a into a double first no there's an implicit conversion so it's kind of the same thing when I say uh, well let me not let me just actually type it out in big words when I put system dot out dot print line um, a is 
right when I do that and then I go ahead and I concatenate um, and I put a there's like an implicit conversion here to a string isn't there the same way a when a goes to Q it turns into a double a when put in this system uh, printout statement is turned into a string because remember this can only print out text you know if uh but the thing is let's see what what could be an example of something I can't print out which is a data type can't think of anything at the moment but if I just print out a there's a default to string method uh, in every program that you don't see so it would actually print out something weird as far as yeah see I, I don't know if that's the pointer address or something it's printing something weird out so we can override that actually so we can make a method now uh, it would be a public and uh, the the box the mystery that I was having earlier I was putting two string here I was wondering oh what else do I have to put well this is returning something it's just turning a string not a void so and it's still not working huh uh, give me a moment okay my uh, red X uh, kind of confused me there um, now there, there's still nothing wrong with this the only problem is I haven't returned anything yet that's why it's giving me this error alright so we have to return and we already we don't have to define type all that code again we already did that here turning the character array to a string so just return get string and uh, and you'll see in Eclipse it will show you overrides java.lang.object.toString so you seeing this is actually I'm not lying this is a method that's in every single uh, class it's just kinda hidden and this allows us now instead of having to put a dot get string which is legal in order to avoid um, getting a, a weird um, uh, address that we saw earlier in the video uh, we could now just put b um, well oh wait I forgot this is not what we were working with before system out so we can now get rid of this dot get string part and just have it go to A let's run it and there we go it's printing out the correct thing now so let me see how much time do I got left here I think uh, I lost the synchronization between these two clocks when that when this equals 600 I have to stop so other than that um, since I think I got about a minute or so left let's try uh, to get rid of all those zeros we don't need those zeros there so and in addition we're going to have to uh, stick in the sign so here we go so four got our for loop there so how about we uh take this we whoa that, that's not good I press tab to increment it there I'm going to put a, a for loop on top of this one and in fact I think it's going to even have the same parameters um, stick that inside this for loop alright so yeah this should have the same exact thing going on In fact, um, let me get rid of this initialization because this counter will be, uh, as you can see, referencing this counter here. Oh, let me uh, get rid of that. There we go. So, we want to run this loop after we get past the zeros. So, if um, digit character array counter. Stick that here is equal to zero. All right, 
we, we basically want to enter it when it's not equal to zero when we see a one two three or, or something outside of zero start putting it in there so I think this should work uh, a little crude a little quick fix um, how much time do I got left I'm over uh, oh as you can see it fixed it and now I got end the video see you